Meteorologist Brian Bachman and Brian, one of those things where we have this rain last night, tonight, and we have much more on the way. Right, we're getting to the point in the uh, scenario here, Justin, where the rain is going to be coming at us in much more frequent waves over the better part of the next 36 to 48 hours. Doesn't mean it's going to be continuous at all times through Friday, but again, just more frequent than it's already been. A reminder that we got first alert weather days in place for tomorrow as well as Friday for the heavy wind and, or heavy rain, excuse me, and wind we expect to see from Helene as it passes just west of us, at least the center of it passes just west of us late tomorrow and on into Friday. Significant to major, even potentially catastrophic flooding possible, especially in parts of the mountains where we expect the highest rainfall amounts of potentially a foot or more in some spots. I'll get to that in a moment. Also, damaging winds going to be an issue and power outages likely to be pretty numerous on top of what we've already seen from the severe storms around the greater Greenville area, for example, last night. So one more time, a reminder, tropical storm warm is in effect for our entire area Thursday night and into Friday. And what that means is that we expect to see 40 mile per hour or greater sustained winds through that stretch. That means the wind constantly blowing at that speed is again tomorrow night on into Friday morning. And of course, the widespread flooding we expect to be an issue from the tropical rains that the system will be dragging in. We're getting some previews of that out there tonight. We do still have this pair of flash flood warnings in this uh, outlined area that you kind of see underneath the radar echoes on first alert radar. Some light rain still coming down around the Asheville uh, area into northwest Henderson uh, County, where we have a flash flood warning in effect until 1115. This larger warning until 1 a.m. from Grassy Creek to Marion, all the way to the east side of Hendersonville. Heavier rain still coming down in that area at rainfall rates of about one to two inches per hour. That swath of rain tends to break up as it goes farther south into the upstate, but still some torrential downpours coming down with these storms around Fingerville and then expanding into the uh, east side of Spartanburg. Looks like another downpour rolling through Fountain Inn, much like we saw back at the top of the hour. Greenville getting a break in the rain for now, but Again, just for now, as we're starting to see more showers and storms developing to our south into parts of Elbert County over toward Hartwell and then back into northern Georgia. All of this is just going to continue to track northeastward in waves again over the better part of the next 36 hours. So timing it out on future track here we will hold in a similar pattern to what we've been seeing out there tonight. A lot of the rain will favor the mountains and areas predominantly west of Greenville going into the rest of tonight. But as you can see, that doesn't mean Greenville or areas to the east are in the clear. You will see some downpours. They really solidify and become downright torrential. Just in time for the morning commute. Unfortunately, tomorrow we hold in pockets of torrential rain through midday tomorrow, and these are just the outer bands of Helena as it's approaching the Florida coast tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, eight o'clock into the overnight hours tomorrow, just wave after wave of rain until we get to the worst of it. Friday morning, center of Helene will pass just west of us into northern Georgia. That puts us on the more dangerous eastern side of the storm where embedded in some of these heavier uh, torrential waves of rain coming through. We could have that low tornado threat that we mentioned before. This will persist at its worst until about 9 to 10 o'clock on Friday morning. Then as the system drags away to the north and west, the rain will start to break up, but we will still have some leftover breezy conditions and no doubt flooding lingering on Friday. So at worst, 10 to 15 inches of rain, perhaps some locally higher amounts in some of the high spots of the mountains. This spans most of the Blue Ridge Escarpment through Hendersonville, just south of Asheville, uh, places like Brevard up to about Waynesville and in toward the Tacoa and Clayton areas, northern Pickens and uh, Oconee counties included in that too. 8 to 10 for the rest of the foothills in the mountains and 4 to 8 inches of rainfall for just about everybody else. Flood watch in effect and we're likely to see numerous flash flood warnings issued over the next couple of days. So waves of rain becoming more frequent throughout the day tomorrow, continuing into Friday with heavy rain and wind. First alert weather days then quieting down as the storm moves on over the weekend. Some sunshine returning and high temps staying fairly pleasant in the 70s. Again, Thursday, Friday, though, going to be especially dangerous in the mountains where those rainfall totals will be heaviest. Please try to avoid travel if you can over the next couple of days. Make sure you're hunkered down. And if it does start to flood in your area, try to seek higher ground as quickly as you can.